If you've ever stumbled upon one of the many Facebook games out there, you may be familiar with the concept of energy, and if not, allow me to explain. Energy is a resource which is usually represented by a lightning bolt, and it dictates how many actions you can take. Run out of energy and you're stuck. If your energy is not full, then you will slowly recover energy over time. Now it sounds strange, doesn't it? A game mechanic designed to limit how often you can play, but there are a few perfectly valid reasons for this. Reason number one, it's an extra variable. Energy is a resource just as much as anything else is. The player needs to make sure that their farm, city, whatever, is optimised for however much energy they're limited to. Reason number two, microtransactions. By limiting the number of actions the player can take, this gives the companies another means to make money. Energy can be bought using real money, and since the player is allowed to invest lots of time in their creation anyway, they are more likely to care enough to want to pay for more. Reason number three, more frequent playtime. Even though energy limits how often the players can play, in turn it increases the amount that they do play. Think back to how energy actually works. Energy is a limit on how many actions a player can take, and it recovers over time when it is not full. The keyword here being not full. So if the player wants to recover as much energy as possible, they must therefore check back regularly in order to prevent it from ever filling up. The longer the player leaves it full, this increases the amount of relative wasted time it is crafted perfectly to reward the playing patterns of an average casual gamer.